Hey guys, welcome to Taki Soba with our review of Devilman Crybaby. I'm the anime casual Nate, as always, here with the anime pro Malish. Hey guys, Devilman Crybaby is a crazy anime that blew my mind when I first watched it. How did you find it, Nate? I'm scarred for life. Devilman Crybaby hit the scene as a Netflix original back in January 2018 with 10 episodes. The story follows Akira Fudo, a pretty average high schooler who reunites with his childhood friend Ryu Asuka. Ryo reveals the existence of demons to Akira and takes him to a club where they witness the demons wreak havoc. However, while the other humans are brutally murdered and absorbed by the demons, Akira actually fuses with one of them, becoming a devil man. He keeps his human form, which itself undergoes a complete transformation and personality change. From there, we see Akira helping Ryo on his quest to rid the world of demons. There's plenty of twists and turns that make this anime stand out as something interesting and bizarre. Yeah, this anime starts off not too crazy, between the explicit sex and gore, the shock factor wore off. It felt normal enough for an anime about a shape-shifting half-demon who wants to kill other demons. However, in just 10 episodes, a crazy amount of stuff happens, and people are not who they seem. This show will have plenty of sad moments, and after a relatively simple conflict, the show deals with intense themes of death, religion, and the fate of humanity. It definitely shook me up. Akira, aka Devilman, remains at the center of all of this, so let's talk about those characters now. Akira Fudo is the titular Devilman, and as the title further implies, he is a huge crybaby. Pre-transformation, Akira is not just a crybaby, but an empathetic one. For some unexplained reason, he always cries for other people when he senses their sadness. When Akira becomes Devilman, he wants to stop the demon so that he can save humans. But after the Age of Demons begins, humans turn on each other, gruesomely, and Akira is caught up in a state of extreme existential quandary. It's definitely something I enjoyed a lot in this anime, but beyond Akira, the character development felt quite slim. Ryo is a bit of a pseudo-foil for Akira throughout the anime, and the side characters mostly just exist to give Akira purpose and motivation, but I did feel for their plights. Akira's family members and other Devilman friends and foes serve as the side characters for this anime. Akira has a special relationship with his adopted family, and his relationship with Miki illustrates that. The two care for each other, but there's a hesitance on Akira's side to fully accept the kindness Miki's family provides him. I enjoyed seeing the family interact because of Akira's inner struggles. The other Devilman characters bounce off Akira excellently. They have their own demons to conquer literally and figuratively, which makes their Devilman transformations fascinating. The side characters in Devilman are one of the strong points of the show, since towards the end, you really do start caring about them. Now let's delve into the animation and art style. Devilman Crybaby was animated by Studio Sign Sorrow, but one of the most interesting art styles I've seen in anime. It makes sense when you look at director Misaki Yusa's previous anime, like Ping Pong the Animation and Tatumi Galaxy. All those shows have a unique art style, and Devilman Crybaby is no different. It's a minimalistic style that focuses on dazzling action scenes to carry the animation. I enjoy the look of the show a lot. I also like Devilman Crybaby. It is a huge departure from what is considered a more standard anime art style. Devilman even features one animation technique rarely used in Japan, motion tweening. Motion tweening is very popular in the West, so it made Devilman feel more like a western animation, but it is used both tastefully and skillfully in this anime, which gets high praise from me. As for the art style, the raw action and gore is pretty well done. I'm glad it's more stylized because it made me not as squeamish as if it were more detailed. Now let's talk about the soundtrack and voice acting. Devilman Crybaby has one of the coolest anime soundtracks I've heard in a while. The futuristic sound exudes coolness. This carries over to the lovely opening. The soundtrack does add a layer depth to the anime, making it feel more complete. As for the voice acting, both the English and Japanese dubs are good. There are Japanese rappers in the show that surprised me with how well they actually sounded. I love the soundtrack as well, except for the opening, which sounded like hot and garbage. Thankfully, the ending theme and the interspersed tracks are phenomenal. The soundtrack is heavy on EDM and outrun genre music, which I have never heard in an anime. As for the voice acting, I of course watched the English dub exclusively, and I thought it was great. Emotionally impactful moments Moments, particularly those from Akira's family, were delivered very well in the dub. To wrap it up, I'd say Devilman was an interesting show, but when we got to the ending, I actually disliked it so strongly, it made me care less about the anime as a whole. I am aware it adapted from a manga, which itself is just a drop in the bucket in the greater Devilman franchise. I thought it was 8 episodes of cool novelty, followed by 2 episodes of absolute insanity that meant nothing to me. I'll just say I only recommend this anime to more seasoned anime watchers who are cool with really, really weird stuff. For most anime casuals, I don't recommend this unless you watch the trailer and you're sure that you're cool with absolutely bonkers stuff that has sex and gore in it. 
Director Yusa did it again with Devil Man Cry Baby. It's a slick, stylized show that has many interesting themes and stories that carry the show to greatness. I'd recommend this show to lovers of his previous work and people that want to see what makes anime a special medium. Devil Man Cry Baby can be streamed on Netflix exclusively as it's a Netflix original, with both sub and dub formats. As always, if you've already watched Devil Man Cry Baby, click the first link in the description for our post view discussion, which includes spoilers. Thanks for watching our review of Devil Man Cry Baby. Please give it a like or a comment for feedback. We'll see you guys next time with a new Takisoba review. Ciao.